Vamos, vamos logo. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between, hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a street walker in a monastery. <laughs> Barracos e morros sem socorro no lugar Sem esperança, nada Sem luz que possa inspirar Continua Resta dando caralho melhor, Que porra é essa que você tá fazendo aqui? Como que você sai entrando aqui assim? Anda, anda, vai pra lá O que você tá fazendo aqui? Eu tô te perguntando Eu te chamei aqui, porra Easy, pal, easy Ah, então, você é americano de merda Look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão para eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Ah, desculpa, amigo, por favor. Passa ah. tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele, pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Dá logo. Dá logo. Da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. Ah. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. If there was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was there one legal chance at a ticket out of here? Fala inglês. I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde uh, estou? Tá no lugar errado, rapá. Ah, não compreende. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não, Gringo. Well, they weren't gonna help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was gonna find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. At the disco, with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Anders Dudling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm uh, looking for someone. What are you doing here? Oh, we, we came to help the cause. See, after I retired my wife, she said I had to do something. And well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. 
Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and, well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, simply wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. In fact, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. Ain't granted steel, ain't San Paolo, but, you know, I've seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman about 28, rich? She was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I gotta get back at it. Hey, right, I'll say a prayer for you. Another life lesson I didn't want. Looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, that telephone? Telephone. Vai, lá no fundo, segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges, and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum, having just had every last cent robbed from you, and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt. Can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? No, I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. <laughs> if I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, come on. I'm trying to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Para na pra ele, um show pra mim. Bem gelado. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. <laughs> you were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Serrano. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, he sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Crasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. 
And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. E aí, Green? O que você está fazendo aí? Não compreende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa para mim? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're going to take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. soldier you're American oh jeez buddy am I glad to see you oh fuck me I've been coming to this shithole town for the last five years it's like a fucking insane asylum but it's got the cheapest pussy in the world but fuck me I mean you're in a cat house in the slum pal doing who knows what I'm a businessman, bro. And they were fully legal in this country. I, th I think. And, and I know how to tip, all right? It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. Don't, don't judge me, all right? Have a nice day. Jesus. What a fucking creep. It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. Ou não? Foda-se! Isso aí. Isso aí já era, não vale a pena não. É certo. Vamos lá. 
fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. I was walking into another not-so-welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I'd just shot up their favorite skin joint. I was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I needed to focus. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back, when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me.
a safe medical detox. Fabiana's market value is falling by the second. I had to get to Serrano before he dumped his stock. These bastards look different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. There was no need to announce my arrival in that part of town. I'd drawn more than enough attention already. Soccer had gotten Claudio away from the favela, but it hadn't gotten him far enough. I couldn't imagine his death had done much to boost the CS's approval ratings in that part of town.
Giovanna, charity worker and socialite. Work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds. Eventually, you're gonna get your life ripped apart. Man. 
They told me the favelas were full of drugs. Passos had told me about this stuff. Oxidado. They called it rust. Packed full of healthy ingredients like quicklime and kerosene. Cheaper, stronger, and deadlier than crack. Easily marketed to the poor and desperate. All in all, a fine, honorable way to earn a living. I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me.
I had to hope the king was in his castle. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you? Okay. Here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. We'd only been married a short time. By now, she had been dead longer than I knew her. I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business, but I knew that was just grief. The insanity that comes with losing the life you had built. Michelle, I missed her with every part of my being. I hated the world for not killing me with her, and I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. Excuse me, Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. we'd be in a slightly better position to handle this situation. I shouldn't have gone there, and that Passos might have to pay the price for my sentimentality. Sorry, I just had to say goodbye. Ah. You okay? I will be once we get out of here. I get the feeling those weren't the only guys DeMarco sent after. Got that feeling too. I started to wonder if my luck was about to run out when I realized it had a long time ago. That's why I was here. There he is! The money's mine! That's if there's anything left to identify the bodies with. You good? Yeah, I'm okay.
Lots here weren't cheap. I'd take a freebie. Hey, come on. Hey, wake up. Let's go. The troops had arrived. Either DeMarco had thrown an army at this job, or he'd put a high enough bounty on our heads to attract every contract buying scumbag on the eastern seaboard. Yeah, yeah, but how are we gonna know who whacked them? Huh? I got hollow points. Yeah, look, we all got hollow points. Look, we'll split the bounty nice and even. All right? All right? Fair. That's I look, all. I look like a fucking socialist. An aid worker? Mm. We'll work it out together. Okay? Look, cuz, how will we be doing this? Out. I'm not giving no handouts. Not asking for a handout. We're out here ah, working. Whatever, whatever. Shut up, whatever. So mm. shut up. You say. There he is! Right? Joe, just look, just Joe, look. Joe, Joe, Joe. Oh! had put some distance between himself and the goons. I meant to follow. I got someone. I think it's the hit. That Max Payne. The other guy might be here as well. Where you at? Over by that circular thing. The hit. He's like Latino or something. Which hit? And the other one. He's on the Much of a reason to keep Passos alive, whoever they thought he was. Saying goodbye is painful. Man, just be cool, okay? Be cool. Don't tell me to be cool. You act pain? Hmm? Very fucking funny. Whatever. You're Max Payne. I thought he was fucking Max Payne. Confusing, huh? Hey, you make one more move, and this guy, whoever the fuck he is, is gonna get fucking dead. Look, man, 
Give yourself up, and DeMarco might have a change of conscience, huh? Might grant you one last reprieve me. Ain't no reprieve me. Gonna be found otherwise. I don't even know who he is. Jump should be dead already! Think about it. Holy shit, what the hell is going on here? Don't worry about it, just get out of here, okay? It sounds like a fucking war is going on. Calm down. Some poor bastard, now. quite literally, on the graveyard shift. Must have been wondering why there were suddenly more bodies above ground than below. Sniper! Shit! All I can hope for is that he didn't even hear the shot that killed him. Get down! Shot came from the top of the mausoleum! Up in the tower! This is the only way through. If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? That's anyone's guess. Move up, man! This is the only way through. If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? That's anyone's you guess. Sure, right up to the moment my head gets blown off. You gotta move again. I'll give you cover. Wait on me. Quick! Don't give that sniper anything to aim at! Way through. If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? Yeah, that's anyone's guess. Okay? Sure. Right up to the moment my head gets blown off. You gotta move again. I'll give you cover. Wait on me. Get behind that thing. give when you're way behind the front line. Windows coming up. Great.
We'd come in here to hide, not very successfully as things turned out. Freeze! As opposed to what, disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half-cast! Turn around! Turn around! Move! Move! Hold it! You killed my son. You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! Fuck you! You killed my son! You fucking spit! Ow! You killed my son! Dig! Now! I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dig! Sure, he had lived a bad life. But I, of all people, knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Your body ain't gonna bury itself. Dig, motherfucker! I didn't want to tell the guy there were 45 other bodies in the cemetery that weren't receiving their Christian rites. I figured the Grave Digger Act would buy us some time. I'm getting tired just watching you! Oh. Oh. Stop! Where are you going? I die! You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, follow me. Appropriate. These hitmen getting to you? Keep it together. I didn't mind saying goodbye to this place whacked out on meds. Hey, Psst. this way. Up there. Go on, go, go, go. You can go 
first. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, thank you. This place looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. Find that phone. Make a call. There's gotta be a landline in that office, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. Time to get out of there. Seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful night club in the stadium, the docks, I'd been given enough chances to make this right, and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. This was all my fault. 
And there was only one way I dealt with guilt. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. The place was swarming with cops, but they weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. These raids, Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. Then it was fair game, as I was about to find out.
odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. I guess sobriety is relative. This wasn't such a good spot to enjoy the view. We're still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Man, I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. 
If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Harry Krishnas. I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest, and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost, and they were going somewhere and it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcelo and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? 
None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? Marcelo! You bastard! way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Quem fez isso? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Coisa morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Mata ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Passo said there's a good place to hide in the back. I just try to stay calm. <laughs> Pregnant. 
better be shitting me. Me and Raul, fossils you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? Just didn't work out that way. Sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse e procure por toda parte. Temos que achar a menina e o americano também. Tá bom. Ok, chef. Down, I said. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? Go on, 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 go on,
Short of riding in on a parade float, we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. We had to hide someplace out of the open. Day two of sobriety was going about as well as day one. I had to get this poor girl out of there. Oh my God, Max. Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcello thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. If we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready. Right. You got it? Yeah. Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Another. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! Oh no, get down! Next room? Yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. Good at this. Max! 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 Ah, I can't see a way down here either! It has to be something. Ah! <sighs> 
think so. There must be a way to drop those stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Good. Breakfast of Champions.